so now we are going to perform a project on linux machine the name of the project is hosting web page on a web server okay like how to host a website on a web server uh, and in this module we are going to learn how to configure web server then how to host a php page on a web server inside the linux machine so let's consider first of all we have to check the ip address of this machine using if config command you can check the ip address or if config it is zero you can check the ip address the ip address of this machine is 192.168.43.101 so as you can see clearly the ip address of this machine is 192.168.43.101 this is our server machine remember before configuring yum server before configuring web server on your this machine you must configured yum server okay so there must be yum server already configured on your this machine i have already configured yum server and if you don't know how to configure yum server uh, you can watch my videos on my youtube channel slash root dot in you know my youtube channel slash root dot in you can go to this channel and you can learn how to configure yum server so the pre-requirement is yum server okay i have already configured yum server on this machine i am going to show you how to configure web server so this is a basics basics okay first of all you need to configure you need to install the package yum install httpd this is the package required for web server installation http server installation so first of all the first step is to install the package 16 package required i have installed all the package after installing the package the second thing is to restart the service service httpd restart this is the service for web server third thing check the service service httpd status and you can see the web server is running now we have to go to the folder our web server folder at the web directory so what is you what do you mean by web directory web directory is a folder or a path where we are going to host our website so just go inside cd where www html so this is the by default one okay if you want to customize you can also create the customized folder okay so now you can see the path is where ww html here you can see ls you run the ls command to see the files and folder you see there is no files and folders here so i am going to create a page a php page okay a web page in php but before that we need to install php so install php yum install php yum install php so if you want to run a website on php php package must be installed on the server so i have installed the php package with a dependency now clear the screen create a php page so vim index.php so this is the name of the web page index.php this is the page file now this is the home page so just go to insert board and here you have to write the php code okay and you have to write anything like suppose you want to print anything so you just type print hello world okay just a simple demonstration and then you have to close the php okay so this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag so you have to start the code with that and then you have to end the code with that this is a simple script save the file okay and after doing this go out of this folder clear this screen your web page has been created inside the web directory index.php name of the file is index.php now we need to we need to go to the inside the configuration file but before going to the configuration file check your ip address again 192.168.43.101 okay now i am going inside the configuration file vim etc httpd conf httpd.conf so this is the configuration file go inside the configuration file go to the last line using the downside arrow key you can go to the last line of this configuration file 
and at the last line you have to add six line code i will show you what to add and how to add okay so we are here so what you need to do you say you can see these are one two three four five six seven so you can see the last seven lines so i am going to copy the last seven line how to copy seven line seven y y you can write it manually also but i have just copy it and go to the last line and press p to paste so you can see the line has been pasted now remove the comment from here now the virtual host and in place of a star this a star will be replaced by the ip address of the server so the what is the ip address of the server 192.168.43.1 so this is the IP address. Now it's time for server admin document root server name. Okay. So remove the hash. Who is the server admin? You can type the domain name here. And if you don't have the domain name, you can type the IP address of the server 192.168.43.101. Okay. Now inside the document root, document root means what? You have to type the directory, web directory path of the web directory that is where www html this is the directory this is the folder inside which all the web pages has been saved remove the comment server name remove the comment and server name also you can type your domain name or the ip address of the server 192.168.43.101 in our case okay you can left another two lines no necessary delete this virtual host okay the has from the virtual host and now add one more line and that will be directory index directory index directory index means name of the web page name of the home page okay actually okay so that is index dot php index dot php this is the file we created so just we give just mention this now save your configuration file and before restarting the service, check for any syntax error. How to check for syntax error? HTTPD hyphen T. And you can see syntax is okay. It means there is no syntax error inside, inside the configuration file. Everything is okay. Now restart the service. Service HTTPD restart. Here I am not including any security modules. So if you don't want to mess with the firewall and SC Linux, you just disable the firewall using IP tables hyphen F and disable the SLNS using set in force 0 that's all now your machine is ready to your web server is ready to run and you can run your website so you can go to any computer from linux i am uh, minimizing the linux machine i am going to my windows machine just open the google chrome browser anything here okay just a second and here i am going to open the IP address type the IP address of the web server that is 192.168.43.101 and press enter and you can see hello world here you see this is the code which we have printed which we have configured on the home page php file home page if you want to confirm you can also check from this linux machine in linux type e links and the IP address of your machine 192.168.43.101 and you can see hello world this is the code you can see it everywhere just escape from here if you want to confirm once more go to the directory cd where ww html ls and then here you can see cat index.php and you can see inside the code i have printed hello world and that's what is printed on the here when you type the ip address this code is printed here Hence, you can host any PHP website on a web server and you can configure web server in this way. If you want to host multiple websites, you can configure multiple websites on a single machine using virtual hosting. So, I will upload next video on how to configure multiple websites on a single machine using IP based virtual hosting. So I will show you that video on the next, next part. Okay. Till then, watch and enjoy.